everyone now today i am starting the new practical that is estimation of water of crystallization in moha soil by titrating with amno4 solution titration volumetric analysis is the analysis where quantitative estimation is carried out by measuring the volume of the solution and titrating it against a solution of known strength Titration is the process of adding one solution of known strength from a burette to a known volume of another solution of a unknown strength until the reaction is just complete. This is the picture that showing redox titration between potassium permanganate and ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. Here, burette contained KMnO4 which act as self-indicator where well, the conical flask contained ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. After adding KMnO4 solution, ferrous ammonium sulfate solution becomes pale pink in color. Types of titrations, acidimetric and alkalimetric titration, oxidation reduction titration, iodometric and iodimetric titration, Precipitation titration and complexometric titration. Oxidation reduction or redox titration. In such type of titration, a reducing agent is estimated by titrating it with a standard oxidizing agent and vice versa. Generally, oxidizing agent is used as a standard solution. In these reactions, change in valency of ions take place simultaneously. One substance is oxidized and other is reduced. Object of the titration, that is estimation of water of crystallization in Moha salt by titrating with potassium permanganate solution. For this practical, chemicals and apparatus are required, that is KMnO4, ferrous ammonium sulfate, dilute sulfuric acid. Apparatus are 100 ml of measuring flask, 150 ml of conical flask, beaker 250 ml, funnel, pipette of 10 ml, test tubes, dropper, digital weighing machine, burette stand, burette clamp and 50 ml of burette. For lab preparation for teachers, for preparation of moha salt solution and KMnO4 solution of different normalities are given here. They can supply any strength of these solution to the students as per a requirement. Theory behind this titration is titration of moha salt with potassium permanganate solution in acidic medium is also a redox titration in which moha salt act as a reducing agent and potassium permanganate as oxidizing reagent in acidic medium. Moha salt is a double salt of ferrous sulfate and ammonium sulfate having 6 molecules of water as water of crystallization in it. Active constituent of Moha salt is ferrous sulfate which gets oxidized to ferric sulfate while potassium permanganate is reduced to manganese sulfate. Here the molecular reaction between the KMnO4 in acidic medium which forms potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, water molecule and oxygen. In second step, the ferrous ammonium sulfate react in acidic medium in presence of oxygen to form ferric sulfate, ammonium sulfate and water molecules. The overall reaction is when KMnO4 and ferrous ammonium sulfate react in acidic medium, it forms potassium sulfate, manganese sulfate, ferric sulfate, ammonium sulfate and water molecule. Ionic equation First of the reaction is a reduction half reaction which shows gaining of electron and the second step oxidation half reaction where ferrous ion is by losing of electron converted into ferric ion. Procedure Step 1 Titration of supplied Mohasol solution that is unknown solution with potassium permanganate solution. Rinse and fill the burette with potassium permanganate solution up to zero mark. Pipette out 10 ml of supplied mohosol solution into a conical flask and add 2 third test tube of dilute sulfuric acid. Shake and titrate it with potassium permanganate solution until the color of the solution becomes pale pink. 
at the end point when all the ferrous ion are oxidized into ferric ion a drop of potassium permanganate develops pink color hence end point is just appearance of pink color note the reading of burette repeat the procedure with same solution till concordant readings are obtained first rinse the burette with water and then rinse with KMnO4 solution then fill the burette up to zero mark with potassium permanganate solution Maintain the level of KMnO4 up to zero mark. Rinse the pipette with water. Then rinse with a known solution of mohair salt. Tip it out. Ten ml of. Unknown solution of Moha salt. Maintain the level and pour this ten ml of ferrous ammonium sulfate solution into the conical flask. Add two third test tube of dilute sulfuric acid. and then titrate it with KMnO4 solution. KMnO4 is self indicator. When this transparent color is changes into light pink color, that will be the end point of this titration
now this transparent color is changes into pink color this is the end point of this titration note the reading this is 15.7 repeat the procedure at least two times more until you get the matching readings reading table titration of unknown mohr salt solution with kmno4 solution volume of mohr salt solution taken for each reading that is 10 ml volume of kmno4 used that is the pure reading is 15.7 ml 15.4 ml and the third reading is 15.4 ml so the final reading will be 15.4 ml that is v2 second step that is preparation of standard mohr salt solution of n by 30 strength we know that equivalent weight of mohr salt is 392.1 amount of mohr salt to be dissolved in 100 ml for n by 30 strength we use the formula w is equal to nev upon 1000 where n is normality e is equivalent weight and v is volume normality is 1 by 30 equivalent weight is 392.1 and the volume is 100 so finally we get 1.307 gram weight so weigh accurately approximately 1.307 gram of mohr salt and dissolve in water in 100 ml of measuring flask add one test tube of dilute sulfuric acid and make up the volume with distilled water up to the mark and mix well this is the picture showing how to make a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate now prepare a standard solution of mohr salt first weigh 1.30 gram of ferrous ammonium sulfate that is mohr salt now this salt is transfer into clean 100 ml measuring flask pour little amount of water from all sides of funnel dissolve this 1.30 g of mohr salt properly and then add one test tube of dilute sulfuric acid into it and then make up the volume by adding more water
up to this mark Shake well to make it homogeneous solution. Now this is n by 30 solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate. The third step is titration of prepared Moha salt solution that is known solution with KMnO4 solution. So. We pet out 10 ml of prepared Moha salt solution into a conical flask. Add 2 third test tube of dilute sulfuric acid. Shake and titrate it by adding KMnO4 solution drop by drop from the burette with constant shaking until the color of the solution becomes pale pink. Note the burette reading when a permanent pale pink color appears. Repeat the experiment to get matching readings. Shake it well and take out. 10 ml of this known ferrous ammonium sulfate from pipette. Pour this 10 ml of ferrous ammonium sulfate into clean conical flask. And then add 2 third test tube of dilute sulfuric acid. Now titrate this reaction mixture with KMnO4 solution. Add KMnO4 solution from buret drop by drop until this transparent color is changes into light pink color. Now this transparent color is changes into light pink color. Note the reading. Note the reading that is 15.0. Repeat the procedure at least two times. Reading table. Titration for known Moha salt solution with KMnO4 solution. For each reading we have taken volume of Moha salt solution is 10 ml. Volume of KMnO4 used that is burette reading is 15.0 ml, 14.8 ml and the third reading is also 14.8 ml. So our final reading is that is V1 14.8 ml. Calculation Formula used to calculate the strength of supplied Moha salt solution is equal to 10 into W into V2 upon V1. We know that where W is weight of Moha salt which is equal to 1.307 gram, V2 is 15.4 and V1 is 14.8. So input all the values of these in the given formula.
now we have calculated the strength of the supplied that is the unknown mohr salt solution will be equal to dash gram per liter the second calculation is water of crystallization in given solution of mohr salt we know that molecular mass of ferrous ammonium sulfate is 392.1 where water of crystallization is 108 So input these values into the given formula that is weight of crystallization of water in mohr salt multiplied by strength and divided by molecular mass of mohr salt input all the values that is 108 is weight of water of crystallization in mohr salt that is divided by molecular mass of mohr salt this is 392.1 and multiplied by strength which will be equal to dash gram now the finally the re result is strength of given mohr salt solution is dash gram per liter and in it water of crystallization is dash gram precautions during titration first rinse the burette and the pipette with the solutions to be used in them to avoid dilution with water the burette stopper must be tied to avoid leakage remove the funnel from the burette before titration to avoid an increase in the volume of the solution in the burette only one specific reaction should occur between the titrant and the analyte there should be no side reaction viva voce question the first question is what is mohr salt answer is ferrous ammonium sulfate is called mohr salt that is double salt next question what is the total number of water of crystallization in the formula of ferrous ammonium sulfate answer is the water of crystallization number is 6 in the formula feso4 nh4 ka whole twice so4 into 6 h2o next question what is water of crystallization answer is water of crystallization is the fixed number of water molecules chemically attached to each formula unit of a salt in its crystalline form next question name any self indicator that is potassium permanganate next question does the equivalent weight of substances fixed or depend on chemical reaction answer is no equivalent weight of substance is not fixed it depends upon the chemical reaction for example equivalent weight of potassium permanganate is 31.6 in acidic medium while it is 52.7 in neutral medium and 158 in alkaline medium Next question is why a standard solution is prepared is distilled water and not in tap water the answer is a standard solution is prepared only in distilled water because tap water contains ions like chloride calcium magnesium etc and make the solution turbid and may interfere in titration next question why dilute sulfuric acid is added while making a standard solution of mohr salt before adding water Answer is since ferrous sulfate a constituent of mohr salt may get hydrolyzed by water to give ferrous hydroxide so dilute sulfuric acid is added before adding distilled water while preparing its standard solution dilute sulfuric acid checks hydrolysis of ferrous ion of mohr salt solution from undergoing oxidation to ferric ion next question what is equivalent weight of mohr salt answer is Since mohr salt is reducing agent its ferrous ion during redox reaction is oxidized into ferric ion and this process involves transference of one that is loss of one electron only hence its equivalent weight is molecular weight upon number of electron lost or gain that is 392.1 divided by 1 which is equal to 392.1 how to write practical in a practical file first write object and then write apparatus and chemicals required the next step will be theory of titration with reactions then write procedures of all first second and third steps then write observation table and finally calculate the calculation by using the formula lastly there will be result and the precaution Thank you. If you like my channel, please like, share and subscribe.